sort of like this reunion. But it took a very long time for this reunion to happen. <laughs> it did, right? That's right? How long have we been talking about it? Well, about a couple of years, not a year. So, yeah. I'm 30, wait. <laughs> the person who got us together is actually a, a Montana guitarist, Stuart Weber. Um, five years ago, uh, we, Angela and myself and Antigone, we were invited to do a recording with uh, Stuart. So then that's how we reconnected. And then Antigone and I met up in Pisa in Italy. And we were talking about, oh, let's, we should do a collaboration. So that's, it's, it took Stuart um, from Montana to <laughs> get Italy. us together. <laughs> And Italy to get together. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Antigone and I, you know, we, we flew out all the way from Italy and Belgium to be with you guys. Yeah. And I flew from, well, we all flew from New York yesterday, but any, um, and got up at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> We're excited to be here. Um, so here's how we would like to spend the next 45 minutes or so. We would like to play some of our music for you, some of the music that you'll be hearing here on Saturday night. And don't forget, every MSU student, faculty, and staff get into the Montana Chamber Music Concerts for free. Don't forget that. Um, so we hope all of you will come back. And we thought it might be nice to start with just a trio and then add Antigone to our mixture. So we're going to start with a piece by David Balakrishnan by the name of Sky Life. Thank you. 
Thank you. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, over here was electrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first. I've never sat in the middle of a piano trio before. <laughs> so. um, well, of course, when, when uh, you pull together a piano trio and a classical guitar, things can get a bit rough in the sense that the classical guitar doesn't have the sound to support or mix with the piano trio unless the composer is ingenious. And this is the case of the next set of pieces that we're gonna be playing for you and we'll repeat on Saturday. Prisms by the Serbian composer Dusan Bogdanovic are based on um, six of the most famous uh, Sting and Police songs. And it was a collaboration between Bogdanovic and Sting. I'm just really gonna fall off my chair, I think, you know, if I continue like this. So when Antigone and I started talking about the collaboration, the first piece that Antigone mentioned was, oh, you know, there's this, this incredible piece, uh, a suite of Sting's music, uh, Sting's songs and police songs um, by Dusan Bogdanovich, a Serbian-American composer, um, that was done for string quartet and guitar. And I listened to it and I was like, this is the piece I want to do with the piano trio with Antigone. And I mean, I was so thrilled. I remember I was talking to Lucia and Angela and I really wanted to commission this piece. Um, so this piece um, is kind of genius in a way that fits with actually our on trios. Um, we were for years saying, you know, any song that we like become chamber music and that's what we have done a lot with like Riders in the Storm and uh, the Prince song and you know, we kind of just play them like chamber music. And Dushan does this in the most intricate, brilliant way. So the first song, Every Breath You Take Prelude, is kind of like Bach cello suite prelude, um, but with the Macedonian 7-8 rhythm. Uh, Message in a Bottle Dance is a fusion piece uh, with the second half based on Bibayak, uh, Pygmy Rhythmic Pattern, which you have which to look really up. really crazy, by the way. Um, <laughs> we have been of, counting for a week, by the way. <laughs> shape of My Heart Ballad is, is a jazzy ballad, which is beautiful, and Fields of Gold a choral um, with cantilena dialect between the violin and the guitar. Roxanne Pasacalia uh, is an improvised variations, um, kind of going polytonal at the end. Um, Desert Rose Dance is the, the, the finale of the suite, is a hybrid of Middle Eastern and Balkan style um, with the guitar emulating wood, you know, the instrument wood. Um, so it's, it's, it's really exciting to play this for you now. Um, we are going to read a little piece of lyrics um, per each song um, to just, just make you uh, relate. Just uh, this is to prove that if you were thinking that classical music is boring, just think again. <laughs> um, so the, the first one, every breath you take and every move you make, every bond you break, Every step you take, I'll be watching you. And more, but you know, they can you can now listen to the song. <laughs> Thank you. 
One thing I forgot to mention is that um, when we were doing this commission, I was thinking of um, this being used for uh, a collaboration with modern dance. So every song has a different instrumentation. Sometimes it's a duet, sometimes it's trio, sometimes it's quartet. I was reading message in the bottle, but you know, I forgot about it. <laughs> a message in a bottle, a dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next is Shape in the Heart. Um, this might be my favorite in the whole suite. And this is just for cello and guitar. And here are some of the lyrics. I know that the spades are the swords of a soldier. I know that the clubs are weapons of war. I know that diamonds mean money for this art, but that's not the shape of my heart.
It's so beautiful. Fields of gold um, is next, and it's sunset cello. Um, you will remember me when the west wind moves up in the fields of barley. You will forget the sun in his jealous sky as we walk in fields of gold. The red light. Don't walk the streets for money. Roxanne, these days are gone. Thank you. 
Desert Rose is the next song, and I dream of rain, I dream of gardens in the desert sand. Oh, I have to close the piano. That is the beauty of playing with me, actually.
this week. Um, what do you guys think? Like, what do you think about all the different polyrhythms, all the different harmonies? Any thoughts or any questions? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I saw like a hint of it. Yes? Yeah. Yes, uh, we commissioned it um, for our group to play, and it's the composition is by Dusan Bogdanovic, and he's based in Switzerland, and he's Serbian American, and he's actually also spent some time in San Francisco, and he's a huge guitar composer, and Antigone can tell you a lot more. No, well, Dusan. Dusan is a classical guitarist, started as a classical guitarist, but always was uh, intrigued and fascinated by improvisation, by jazz improvisation. He spent many years in San Francisco with all kinds of collaborations, also teaching at the San Francisco Conservatory. But um, having the Balkan polymeters and polyrhythms in his blood and being a very curious and very experimental personality, very flexible and very um, innovative in a way, he, all, he never stopped um, discovering world music. So if you sit down and talk with him, one of his favorite uh, musics is the music of the pygmies that you heard in the bottle, you know, the message in the bottle. So he brings that all into his composition. I mean, he's probably the most amazing guitar composer right now. But his uh, chamber music and his also his music for other instruments is. He's told me personally that he's really interested in world music. So he he considers himself not just classical composer, but also mu world music composer. Yeah, well, he always said that the death of uh, classical music happened in the 19th century, where the composers <laughs> and the instrumentalists separated themselves because right. before. Composers were instrumentalists, and instrumentalists were composers. And that's what his, uh, his passion lays. This is what he did in the Geneva Conservatory. He created this department where um, composition and instrumental performance was one. The expression is one. The music is one. So yeah, and this um, commission is really extra meaningful to us because it's dedicated to our mom, who we lost last year. And so every time now we're playing, it's yeah. very We emotional. wanted to have uh, music in her name, so. Yeah. No, when I was working on this commission, so, you know, um, last year, um, we had been just recently before that performing with the James Soul Ballet. Um, and also we work regularly with Nine Chan Dance Company based in New York. So we had been, you know, the past two decades probably, we had been doing a lot of collaborations with dance. And when we do uh, dance and music together, it was always like the choreographer's wishes that uh, wish there were some more separation like in different parts. So when I was um, discussing this commission with Dushan, um, I had asked him, like, would it work if every movement had, like, a different instrumentation? And he said, oh, that'll be really fun, and that'll be a great challenge to do, and 
So that's how it came about. Any some other? of the youth, come on. Not that you're not young and beautiful, but, you know. <laughs> some, <laughs> and beautiful, you know, they go Super together. Super young. <laughs> students, do you have any questions for us? Are there any piano students? Oh, cool. Any guitar students, actually? All right, oh, so oh, I'm cool. hearing it all. What about cello? <laughs> Yay, you guys are the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys too young to know the police and sting? Probably, <laughs> <Okay>. right? <laughs> that was a good one. There's a question in the back. Oh, so hi, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, actually, there comes the, the collaboration before uh, the, our commission is um, another colleague um, asked uh, Dushan uh, to, because he's a very good friend with Sting, and he performed in one of his Sting's lute and guitar CDs that the Sting did at one point, just uh, experimenting into the, the Renaissance world. Um, and he knew Sting because, obviously, the biggest challenge of something like this is the rights, the copyrights. And so Dushan managed to have actually a 50-50 of the copyrights with Sting. And the way that it worked, so it took a long time to establish this. And the original uh, commission was, the first commission was for a string quartet and guitar. But there, there was only one duo, the one that we played for the cello and, uh, and the guitar, and the rest of the movements were actually string quartet with guitar. That's why maybe you can hear a little bit more prominent the guitar part, because when someone writes for guitar and string quartet, it's, it's also not... the guitar composer. Exactly. You know, if Dushan was a cellist, no, it might no, have no, been no. a different story. <laughs> <laughs> no, is the, or the, if the, Dushan the, was a pianist. The, yes, exactly. The format, the format of a string quartet with guitar is that the guitar has a little bit more the part of a soloist uh, speaking a little bit. So that was the original thing. This is how it came about. Erin was in fr friends with Sting. Erin uh, was friends with Dushan. They thought of this. They pulled that out, and then. But we then, came when about Antigone and I were talking about the collaboration, I mean, Antigone knows that you know our group have we have done so many sort of like you know we've done David Bowie, we've done Prince, we've done The Doors. Um, we are very open to just making things that we like into chamber music, so we embrace that a lot. So Antigone probably realized that and thought this piece would be a really fun collaboration to do together. So we chose it together. We only have a few minutes left. I wonder if we should play the rock movement, Rock Bulgari, yeah. before we leave. Um, and then, because you guys, we only have five minutes left, but if you have any other questions, just come talk to us after the concert. So yeah. the next composer is another um, Bulgarian composer nam named Atanas Okozunov. He's another guitarist and composer, so you'll hear that in the music a lot. And this one was um, commissioned by my mom, Young Juri, for the group. We also wanted to do that where she's presenting us with music, and so it's very special. And be when he found out that's um, what he's going to do, then he wanted to add a slower movement, Lamento, where it's just this beautiful, slow, harmonic thing where you hear one pitch on the violin, repeat it on the guitar, repeat it on the piano, and it's beautiful. And then the next one, second one, is the rock bulgare, and that uses this rhythm of 11-8. So it's like one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And it was super fun to put it together. And we really have to, as a group, listen to each other so well to be together. Because if you miss one little thing, then you're going to get off. So we will try to So together. we'll, we'll try to end together. together. <laughs> Well, you said 
sit next to Lucia Saturday night and do up and down for her. Thank you. So you know you have page turners and you have actually piano openers. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. We ended together, so that was good. Stay together. Yeah. We. <laughs>